Hello viewers, welcome to AKMIS Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about World Wetland Day. So why we are going to discuss because today, February 2nd is celebrated as World Wetland Day with the theme Human Wetlands and Human Wellbeing. So why this context is there because recently if you have seen, Ministry of Environment has added 5 more sites into the Ramsar list, making India's count to 80. So we have to discuss the what is the importance of getting listed as a Ramsar site, what is the criteria they adopt and what is the importance of wetland, how it is significant ecologically and environmentally, all these things and other interesting facts like which state is having more number of Ramsar sites, in which country is having the first list, uh, listed Ramsar site and which country is having maximum number of Ramsar sites in the world. These type of facts will low at the end, so stay tuned till the end. So here you can see today February 2nd is celebrated as World Wetlands Day with the theme Wetlands and Human Wellbeing. This is very important, okay. So they can ask these prelims type of objective questions, okay. Then why it is in news, okay. Recently, five more Ramsar sites got added into the list, okay. So previously in 75th year of independence, that is in 2022, okay, we got 75 Ramsar sites. Now, we have added five more that making the list of Indian Ramsar sites to 80. So this is what you have to know. Then what are these, where are these new Ramsar sites located? We will see the names and their location. Then what are the wetlands? So what is the significance of wetlands? What is the Ramsar recognition criteria they adopt? What is the significance of getting listed as a Ramsar site? And what is the old wetland and other interesting facts we will know at the end. Okay. So this forms part of GS paper 3 in Mainz Environment Biodiversity Conservation. Then. So, as I told you, five new Ramsar sites were added by Ministry of Environment, okay, Sri Bhupendra Yadav Ji in January, that is on Jan 31st itself, okay. So, where are these located? You can see here, Anka Samudra Bird Conservation Reserve in Karnataka. All these five or three four from Karnataka, you can see and two from Tamil Nadu. So, all from Karnataka and Tamil Nadu itself, you can see here, Agna Nashini Estuary, okay, in Karnataka. You know, Estuary means a place where fresh water meets saline water. Then you have Magadi Care. Conservation Reserve that is in Karnataka. You have Karaivati Bird Sanctuary in Tamil Nadu, Longwood Shola Reserve Forest in Tamil Nadu. So these are the five newly added Ramsar sites into in India. Then what is a wetland? So wetland is nothing but a ecosystem which is like saturated with water either temporarily or permanently naturally or artificially it can be fresh water or saline anything okay so it can even include mangroves marshes rivers lakes deltas floodplains flooded areas even rice paddy fields also will be considered as wetlands or coral reefs also so where the marine areas or any other area where the water is not exceeding low tide cannot exceed below a level of 6 meters okay and it is all it can also be a human made need not be what uh, natural only and it can be human made and also it is it can be a site of wastewater treatment for ponds and reservoirs also. That means the only criteria is the depth should not exceed okay, 6 meters at the low tide. This is what the main thing you have to keep in mind. Though they cover only 6% of the earth's land surface, they host almost 40% of the animal and plant species within their domain okay so what is the significance they help in fighting against climate change because if you know these wetlands are considered as peatlands because they store and absorb carbon within them okay so in that way they help us in fighting climate change because you know carbon emissions are a major threat of this climate change then sequestering carbon they absorb and store carbon within themselves by that they are sequestering the carbon then paradise for migrating birds when it is saturated with water, waterfall habitats means so many water birds will find their home or habitat in this particular area. Then cultural and tourism importance also will be the most important significance of this area. Then what are the threats to wetlands? Human activities like urbanization, industrialization, pollution, all these things. Then climate change even that is also becoming a threat and maladaptation of different practices okay so this is the threat to the rams sort of normal wetlands then coming to ramsar recognition so what is a ramsar site ramsar site is a wetland but of international importance okay so in case if we don't conserve this ramsar or um, particular wetland then it can be a threat to the biodiversity of that entire ecosystem so in that situation ramsar will ramsar is nothing but a convention which is adopted in 1971 ramsar is a city 
of Iran. So where we are identifying the wetlands of international importance that has to be conserved immediately. Okay. So this is what we have adopted by UNESCO in 1971 Ramsar Convention on the name of the city of Ramsar in Iran. This is a city in Iran where this convention was signed. That is why we name it as Ramsar Convention. Then Ramsar recognition is identification of wetlands around the world. And you can see this is in the international interest and for judicial use of the resources within that wetland. Then Ra Indian Ramsar wetlands spread almost 11,000 square kilometer of area around 10% of the total wetland area in the country across 18 states. If you know, there can be a statement in UPSC, they can ask a statement that almost all the states have Ramsar wetlands, okay. States like Telangana, Chhattisgarh, okay, so they don't have any Ramsar sites demarcated in their area. And you can see here, no other South Asian country has as many sites as India has within its geographical extent. Then criteria. So nine criteria are listed to be recognized. Either of this is mine, uh, like met. Okay, then you can go with this criteria of getting listed as a Ramsar site. What is that first one? So in case if it contains rare, unique species, okay, natural or near natural wetland type, okay, then it can be listed as Ramsar. Second criteria is if it supports vulnerable, endangered or critically endangered species. Third, if it supports any population of the plant or animal varieties, which is helping in maintaining biological diversity of the region. Fourth, if it supports any plant or animal species, which is at a critical stage in their life cycle. Fifth, if it is supporting 20,000 or more water birds, waterfall habitat, as I told you. Criteria six is supports 1% of the individual population of one species. Seventh is if it supports a significant proportion of indigenous fish community or subspecies. Then, Eighth, if it is an important source of food for fishes and other nursery grounds. Ninth, if it is regularly supporting 1% of individuals in a population, then also it can be recognized as a Ramsar site. In any of these situations or conditions, if they are met, then you can designate it as Ramsar site. Then what is the significance of getting listed as a Ramsar site? It helps in developing and maintaining international network of this so that we can have conservation of biological diversity at the global level and we can sustain human life. Okay. So, and it is also under strict guidelines. So, the whatever the area that is designated as Ramsar site, that will be under strict guidelines. There won't be any violations of the provisions. Then facts about Ramsar sites. How many Ramsar sites are there in India? On this particular day, 2nd February 2024 is 80 Ramsar sites with the addition of 5 more. Then largest Ramsar site is Sundarbans in West Bengal. This is important. Okay, Such factual information also can be asked. Then first Ramsar site in India is Chilika Lake in Odisha. And if you have remembered, this is also the first one to be registered into the Montrex record but later removed because of its restoration uh, project. Okay, Then which Indian state has the most number of Ramsar sites? Previously, it used to be uh, it previously it used to be Madhya Pradesh, but now it is Tamil Nadu with 16 Ramsar sites within its territory. Then, which is the smallest wetland in India? It is Renuka wetland in Himachal Pradesh. Okay, so this is what you have to remember: largest, smallest, and highest number of Ramsar sites. Okay, then there are almost 2,500 Ramsar sites in the world, and you can see world's first Ramsar site is identified in Australia. Okay, in Kobok Peninsula, and UK has most number of world wet, uh, wet, uh, Ramsar wetlands. It is with a number of 175. And another fact is Bolivia. Bolivia is the country with largest area under Ramsar sites. Okay, So then February 2nd every year is celebrated as International World Wetlands Day because the Ramsar Convention was signed and adopted on the same day. Theme of 2024 is Wetlands and Human Wellbeing. Then Ramsar organization is collaborating with other organizations in maintaining this Ramsar sites. What are those IUCN? You know IUCN is an NGO, non-governmental organization established for conservation of nature. You know it is also providing red list okay, of threatened spaces or endangered spaces. Then BirdLife International, this is also an NGO promoting uh, protection of conservation of birds and international world sorry, International Water Management Institute, 
Wetlands International, Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust and WWF International, World Wide Fund for National International. So, these are the organizations that are collaborating with Ramsar Convention. Okay. Then it is a time for team based previous year question. This was asked in UPSC. You can see the wetland they have given and they have given the location. So, you need to match okay, which of the followings are correctly matched is asked here. So, Hokera, Punjab, Renuka, Himachal, Rudrasagar, Tripura, Sastam, Kota, Lake in Tamil Nadu. How many are correctly matched? you have to answer in the comment section then practice question for prelims in case a wetland is registered in the montrex record it means the wetland has observed some changes in ecological character or may likely occur in the future as a consequence of human interference b wetland has animals that are critically endangered c wetland is given the status of world heritage site d wetland would be given protection from human interference within 5 kilometers from its range of the by the government of the state so which of the options is correct montrex record and also comment in a uh, comment in the comment section which of the sites okay or how many sites are registered under montrex record as part of this Ramsar convention. Then practice question for mains, enumerate the major threats to wetlands in India. How can wise use approach help in mitigating these threats? This is the mains question for practice. As we have come to the end of the video, we have discussed the newly added Ramsar sites and we have discussed about World Wetland Day and its significance. We have discussed what is a wetland, what are the criteria for getting registered as a Ramsar site and also we have seen interesting facts like which state has most number of wetlands, what is the largest Ramsar site in India, smallest site and which country has more number of Ramsar sites in the world. So such interesting facts are also discussed in the video. So stay tuned till further the videos and thank you.